but there you go. A nice one. Perfect fish. Like, look at that. Never, ever even thought about being caught before. Cool, cool. Let's get another one. Hey guys, out here messing around with the new scope shed and uh, it's pretty unbelievable. I mean, I am a little hungry and I haven't had any coffee yet, so maybe I'm shaking, but I don't think so. Look at that. So anyway, this is the scope shed. This happens to be a baby bass color that works really good out here on Lake Erie. And I'm rigging it two different ways. Um, I knew it would work like this, obviously. Any minnow type baits, especially in the fall, they're always good drop shotted. And you're gonna love the shape of this one. It's not the same as the other ones. It's a thicker bait, almost looks like a fat Senko. It's even fatter than that. But it's got a pretty cool shape, a flat back, a round belly, and it's just quite a bit different. Trust me, it fills a void in the old minnow bait arsenal. And the other way, which I'm having a lot of fun with today especially, is on a jig head. That tail never stops wiggling. That's just in the wind. Because I'm fishing in shallow water today, I'm using this. It's a, it, Most of the weight's on the inside. I'm actually burying that weight. It's pretty light, but like I said, I'm fishing uh, pretty shallow for Lake Erie. These fish are in like 12 to 15 feet right now. So anything I see out there on the active target, whether it's a rock or a fish, you can't really tell a lot of times because these smallmouth hunker down in these rocks. But I'm just inching along with my ghost trolling motor and I'm pivoting that transducer, so I'm looking around with the active target. Anything that I see, I'm fishing a flat, anything I see out there, 60, 80, 100 feet, um, I fire this at it. It sinks really slow, kind of does some little shaking and movements depending on how you, how you rig it. So there's a lot of action on this bait with the tail as it sinks. I mean, I'm seeing these fish come off these rocks and some of them are coming up 10 feet to bite it. They're biting it just, just after it hits the water. So that is what we're doing today on Lake Erie. And I'm having a blast because I'm learning more about my active target while I'm going. So, fun, fun, fun. Here comes one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on, buddy. Nice one. I'm hooking them really good. Fun, fun. Some of these fish are biting when I'm reeling it in. I'm kind of twitching it and reeling it in slowly, but I'd say 90% of them are biting it on the first fall. I don't even do anything. I just throw it out there and let it sink like a Senko. You see them coming and they just eat it. Little guy. It's cool to see these rocks come alive. I can tell you that. Try to get it as straight as you can. It's pretty good. So this is my three graph setup on the front of my boat. Of course, that's the active target too, which is unbelievable. I run my charts, C-Map on this side. I always have Navionics in here too. So I have two different charts. Sometimes I put it over here, but when I'm on the Great Lakes, I'll show you how I set this up. Active target, chart, regular 2D sonar straight on my, right on my transducer of the Ghost. And then on this side, I'm running structure scan uh, on the back so that I can run my down scan on the back So any fish that I don't see on here. Sometimes I see it here, which is uh, Pretty cool a lot of times I'll flip to the back motor and and jack one so actually right now there's a fish So perfect timing. Thank you fish There's a fish under the back of the boat and not in the front as you can see it's like 18 feet here and 20 feet here and if I go a little bit forward you can see the little rise it goes up to 12 right there so that's my three graph setup on the front of my boat so basically what I'm doing throwing it out there when I see one and he's coming up for it got him <laughs> oh man that one was actually in 20 feet I'm kind of like on an edge from 12 to 20 
and with this light weight they just I mean they just load up on it they have no idea come on boy a little bit better one Not a not a giant. Ooh, a hook just came right out. Hee hee hee. These gloves are awesome too, by the way. So that is the scope shad. Unbelievable little bait. Smoking them. And they're available at fishing online. That was fun. <laughs>